Hey, this is Ken Nelson with the Tactical Performance Center. In today's whiteboard chat, I'm going to cover the start positions for the exercises and practices that you see on our website. I've ordered them in the order that we do them the most. But I'm going to start explaining them from the least to the most common because I want to spend more time on the most common. So the most the least common one that we use is called low ready. This is common in LEO and military, especially quals. So we do train people uh, how to use them. Low ready technically is described as the guns at 45 degrees from the eye line. You'll note, though, in our start positions, we like to talk about sort of a tactical or a scenario type situation. So the way we like to think about low ready is on target, but I can lo lower the gun and I can see their hand. So we've got a threat. The gun is lowered, so the gun is not on them, but I can see their hands. Another thing is that this is not a relaxed position. This is a position where you could easily shoot from. So the stance is built, all the tensions up in the grip are built. The finger's on the side, but if we need to go, we go. Okay, what we don't want to do is have it out here relaxed and then build it. That's late. We like to be early. Remember. First hit wins. The next position that we use in exercises is called on target. Now that's not particularly a tactical position. Uh, it is a training or practice uh, position that we do for particular exercises. When we say on target, everything is built. The stance, the grip, the, the sights are required, and the finger is on the trigger and the trigger is prepped. So basically what we're doing is taking away any of the other ancillary activities and focus you on just having it on target, trigger is prepped, we're probably going to have you shoot and then do something else, reload, do something. But we want to take away any of the issues related to getting up to that position, so we just start there. The next most common and actually a fairly common position that we do is holstered. Doesn't matter whatever your, your gear is, I don't recommend a pocket. Um, unless you're protecting the trigger. Um, whatever gear you're using, doesn't matter. If we say holstered, put the gun away, secure it if it's a retention holster, and then start the exercise from there. Now the final one is compressed imminent threat, which sometimes we'll refer to as CIT. Now this is a very common position for our exercises, and the reason for that is because the draw, picking up from the table, um, any kind of manipulation after a reload are all going to go through compressed imminent threat. Now again, compressed imminent threat, imminent threat is a position and it's also a state of mind. The way I like to tell people is you're in a, an environment where your things are hinky, you don't know what's going on and you're searching or you have multiple possible threats. Okay, so technically the way we describe it is it's about a finger span, pinky to thumb, away from the chin at about 45 degrees. So the gun's right there. A key part of this is that we're holding it at sights alignment, right? So that if I went down and looked through here, my sights are perfect. Okay, and then we're gonna lift up from that with the sights aligned by feel and deliver an early hit. Right, so that's compressed imminent threat. Again, we're coming back slightly below the eye line. We wanna make sure that we can see the, the bore or the slide from the lower part of our peripheral vision, it's about that far away, and our tensions are built. Our stance is built. Uh, the tensions we can build at the grip are built. It's not a relaxed position, it's an active position. We are ready to go if a threat manifests. Boom. All right, so uh, that's compressed imminent threat, the most common one. So remember, tacticalperformancecenter.com, the first hit wins. Right up here, if you're visiting on the website's Learn Right Now menu, all of our articles, all of our videos, all of our targets are all right there. Uh, prep material for uh, courses and our TPC rating definition and our TPC rating calculator are all right there. So go visit that. Um, if you want to shoot better, join our Tactical Performance Center Shoot Better group. It's free. You just have to look like a real person and we'll approve you in. There we post, uh, you get early access and, and automatic always notification of anything we post, unlike a regular Facebook page. Um, and if we do help you, 
Would you mind letting people know? Share the video, share the uh, article that helped. Help us get the word out. Social media doesn't help us with that very much. Um, they don't like guns, um, which is disappointing. Um, but we like guns, and we like to train, and we would love to train with you either at our place in southern Utah, about an hour and a half north of Las Vegas, or at your range. So I'm Ken Nelson with the Tactical Performance Center. I'll see you on the range.